In today's video, we're going to introduce you to the fascinating history of the Border Collie. Welcome back to the Femrear Border Collie Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder and CEO here at FemrearCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could ever want to know about the incredible Border Collie, then how you can become a high-level canine leader that can raise perfect Border Collie companions. So if you love the Border Collie as much as we do here at Fenrir, start your journey by hitting that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and you'll never miss a future Border Collie video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll tell you all about the history behind one of the world's most glorious dog breeds. The Border Collie is one of the most popular breeds on the planet and that should come as no surprise. The breed is hyper energetic, extremely intelligent and loves to work. What's not to love? Now, while some other breeds were brought to Britain and may sometimes be thought of to originate from these beautiful islands, the Border Collie was actually created in Northumberland on the border between England and Scotland. And that is the sole reason that they are called Border Collies, as they at one point were separated from the regular Collie breed. Now, Old Hemp was bred and owned by Adam Telfer, a farmer who was extremely impressed with his dog's working qualities. He had never seen a dog using the technique of controlling his flock through body position rather than barking before. And Old Hemp turned out to be used as a stud and is believed to have produced around 200 puppies through his life. He is considered to be the founding sire of the Border Collie as a breed. From his lineage comes almost 30 champions in the International Sheepdog Society's herding trials, which was founded in 1906. Now, although Old Hemp himself hasn't been found in any records, his grandson Sweep and another offspring named Young Hemp were two of the champions from his lines. Old Hemp was such an extraordinary dog that breeders around sought to emulate his traits in their own dogs to further strengthen the breed. And once breeders were producing dogs with similar looks, mentality, and then those similar working incredible traits, it was time to name the breed and declare it a specific breed. And James Reed was the secretary in the International Sheepdog Society, and he was the first to refer to these dogs as Border Collies in 1915. Reed wanted to distinguish the dogs he registered in the society from other types of collie, such as the Scotch Collie, the Smooth Collie, and the Rough Collie. Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to ask, are you following us over on Instagram? If you're not, there's two accounts that I would love for you to check out. The first one is our brand account, at Femrear Canine Leaders, where you can see more about our industry leading products products that we create. If you're interested in following me personally, that's at I am Will Atherton, where you can see behind the scenes of me working with some of the most extreme behavior cases in the world and what it takes to run these kind of YouTube channels. And maybe if you just want to be able to come over and chat with me, that's the place for you. So there'll be links down in the description box for both of our Instagram pages. I'd love for you to come and check them out and hopefully we'll chat over there. Now, all collies originated from the same stock of dogs, but as dog shows become more popular in the 1850s and 1860s and breed standards were set in place, it became more and more important to differentiate the variations into specific breeds to meet these new standards. Now, the name Border Collie has many meanings. Where the border part is most obvious one, referring to that physical location on the border between England and Scotland, the collie can have at least two meanings where one is the Celtic meaning of the word, which is useful. Another meaning is that collie refers to collie, spelled E-Y, which is an old Anglo-Saxon word for black. With the border collie's black markings, it is thought that this reference is more likely than the meaning of being useful, although both do seem fairly appropriate, so no one really argues too much. Now, already in the 1880s and 1890s, there were border collies exported to other countries where sheep raising was leading agricultural practices. They were so popular that breeders around the world got their breeding stock and breeding practices from Britain to not destroy their working traits. Extreme high-level working dogs were shipped off to Australia, New Zealand, the United States, Canada and Argentina. Now, no matter where they landed, farmers were in awe over their outstanding herding techniques and capabilities. In the US, the prairies proved to be excellent grounds for these amazing sheepdogs to really work their magic. And from written records from these days, it was said that a flock of 1,000 sheep could be handled by one rancher and one good sheepdog. 
That is amazing. Even at this time, a good sheepdog would not bark if not warning for danger. No sheepdog would leave the flock unattended and would not be distracted by absolutely anything. The first sheep herding trials in the US was held in 1880 in Philadelphia. At this time, the Border Collie was not yet a specific breed, so all dogs participating went under the name Collie. The dog who caught most attention, however, was a Scottish import named Oscar, a sheep herding trial champion in Scotland where he'd been admitted by his breeder and owner, a gentleman named Steele. Now, if Old Hemp was the dog that set the beginning of this amazing breed, the American dog Whiston Cap is the dog who has the strongest influence on the Border Collie we know and love today. He was born in 1963, bred by W.S. Hetherington, and handled and shown by John Richardson. Whiston Cap is the dog who set the standard for the breed, which is no small thing to accomplish. Ever since then, every Border Collie has been measured and evaluated against this standard. So then guys, I hope you enjoyed that brief history of the incredible Border Collie. If you did enjoy it, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you want us to go into more detail and go even further back to some of the lineages of those early Collies, then leave that down in the comment section below. Remember, you can hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss a future video. We've got two coming to this channel every single week specific to the Border Collie. So I can't wait to speak to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Border Collie Show.